everyone, my name is Lee Constable and I'm originally from a small town called Geelong in New South Wales, which is part of the Harden District Education Foundations area. I went to school in Harden. Um, so I've been asked to do a little bit of a video to introduce myself and also talk about what I've been doing in relation to this pandemic that we're all experiencing. Uh, so, <laughs> as I said, I come from Geelong. Um, my parents are still there on our family farm, farming mainly sheep, but also cattle. Um, I got an Education Foundation grant to go to university uh, when I finished year 12 and I studied science and also arts. Um, and then I went on to do um, science on TV. So for the past four years, I've been hosting a kids science show on um, a Network 10 science show called Scope where we tackle everything in science, technology, engineering, and so on. Uh, and right now, I've been spending a lot of time on social media talking science, especially in relation to COVID-19 and this whole pandemic to give people information. So some of the questions I've been asked to answer are here. Uh, my inspiration for getting involved with the whole COVID-19 thing on social media. So. One of the reasons I really wanted to get out there and start talking about um, COVID-19 and this virus and the whole thing on social media is because I see a lot of confusion out there. And honestly, I understand where it's coming from because it is confusing. It is a brand new virus that even experts are having to learn more and more about every day. So I really wanted to use my science skills, my science communication skills to talk to people who I have contact with on social media and actually talk through some of the basic things. What do we know? What don't we know? Um, how does this relate to your everyday questions and lives? Um, so the reaction I've got from that, and that's my next question, has been really positive, um, particularly on Instagram. I think I've been doing a lot of questions and answers in Instagram stories and I think earlier on, a lot of the questions I were getting were very similar. Um, some of them, people were really scared and things like that. But I've had a lot of great reactions, even when I've been able to tell people, look, the reason why you're confused about that and you're ask asking those questions is potentially because those are the types of questions that scientists are still trying to find the answer to. So I think people have told me um, that they found it really calming to know more about the science behind this pandemic. Um, people have told me that they've really enjoyed even knowing that some of their confusion is because it is, there are so many unknowns. So there's been a really positive response on social media, which has been really nice um, and nice to be able to have something rewarding to do to help in this whole thing, because I know it's hard sitting at home and feeling like you can't do anything. Um, even though sitting at home actually is the main thing you should do. <laughs> um, so positives that I've taken from self-isolation. This one can be really difficult because it can be hard for so many of us to stay home and to not interact with the same people and places that we normally would. Um, some of the positives I've found is actually here in Brisbane where I am, there's been a bit more community connection. So yes, we're physically distance, distancing from people, but that doesn't mean we have to emotionally distance from people. So I've been seeing people helping others out, getting to know their neighbours, touching base with friends that they might not have checked in with for a while. And I've found that really positive is even though I'm here in my home, like in this apartment <laughs> all day, apart from, you know, going for a daily walk or going to the grocery store. Um, it's actually brought me closer to a lot of people and I think a lot of people have found that as well. So that's one of the positives. Um, what has resonated with my audience? I think one thing that's resonated w with my audience is the way that I talk about science, at least I hope, um, is not necessarily the same as what we always see. Sometimes we see science presented like a bunch of facts. It's all black and white. Here's the do's and don'ts, the true, the false. Um, 
but also I think it's important just to recognize that people are human, to talk about things like mental health, to also just share silly like jokes and memes because like that's positive for our mental health as well and just for being able to get through this together. So I think those aspects have resonated with my audience and, and I think that's the feedback I've been getting from messages I've been getting from people is that they've, um, they've found that really good as well as also finding it, like I said, calming to know um, even the complex stuff to get a little bit of a straightforward explainer on how not straightforward some of the science is or some of it seems at this stage. Um, so what have I learned from this? Uh, it's really reaffirmed the importance of talking to people who are different to you. Sometimes we all get into a little bit of a bubble, a social bubble where we are preaching to the choir. We're always telling people who are only science fans about why science is awesome or we're always talking to people who are like us and think like us and already agree with us. And it's really reiterated, like, how important it is um, for scientists, for members of the community to keep connected to each other, even if we don't necessarily initially see what we have in common, because we all have a lot in common. So I think that's really been something that I'm taking away from this. Um, also, I, sp I think I spent a lot more time on Twitter before, but it's been really good to spend more time on Instagram and also I've been um, making some YouTube videos for my channel that I'm going to be putting out there soon. So I've learned a lot when it comes to connecting with audi my audience and building a community. It's not just one way when it comes to presenting something or like talking about science. It can be a conversation and I think it's better for me as a presenter when it is a conversation. It's also better for the audience because they don't feel like they're just being talked at. So those are some of my reflections. Um, but yeah, in closing, look after yourselves. Um, I know in the country it comes a lot more naturally for us to check in with each other, to know our neighbours, to look out for people. Um, so that's really great. Uh, I think it's important to know that we're all in this together, no matter where we are, not even just in Australia, but around the world um, and it's really reminded us all that we are connected, that we're global citizens. So keep that in mind, um, look out for each other, look after yourself and your mental and physical health, wash those hands, stay home and yeah, 